Hey guys, this is Le French Milieu and welcome on my second video. So it has been quite a long time since the last video. If you remember, I was not yet in Kazakhstan. Actually, now I went all the way to Kazakhstan, left Kazakhstan, um, came back to Russia and I'm about to leave Russia um, probably tomorrow. So I'll try to do a quick summary of what happened in Kazakhstan, like the, the big stuff. When I passed the border, I tried to take a selfie and the Russian guard, a couple of seconds later, he told me something in Russian and I just couldn't understand. So I was like, yay, uh, like, um, but actually he came to me a bit later, like maybe 10 seconds later. Uh, that was very quick and he said like delete the picture, delete the picture, delete the picture. So I had to delete it. So I stayed one week in Kazakhstan. Basically it's like one day in Kostanay, five days in Astana or Nur Sultan and one day in Pavlodar uh, before reaching the other side of the border. If you have the occasion to go to Kazakhstan, just do it. People are very nice. It's very easy to do auto stop. It's the norm over there. Um, that's what I felt at least. There were some places, for example, when I left Astana, where tons of people were hitchhiking. It could be local people, it could be travelers, um, it could be me, basically, like uh, many different types of profiles. And cars were just stopping, picking up people, and then leaving, and then the next car. And it was like very fast, basically. So yeah, just go to Kazakhstan. It's really worth it, I would say, and not just for the hitchhiking side, but for the city, the architecture is very special, I would say. Uh, you can check the Instagram for more uh, details on this architecture or like the overall feel that that was very nice. So thanks to all my hosts um, in Kazakhstan. Back to Russia on the first night, I wanted to sleep a couple of kilometers away from Novosibirsk so that I could go back to the road and really catch a quick driver the next day. Um, so I asked my driver to drop me like 20 kilometers before the city and uh, that was like a big mistake. The whole area is infested by mosquitoes. And overall, I would say all this area of Siberia, and I've heard in the north it's even worse, is really infested by mosquitoes. So I couldn't stay for the night at that place. I tried to go back to Novosibirsk. It took me a couple hours in order to get back inside the city. Um, so yeah, that was pretty bad. Uh, bad choice, bad decision. So the next day... Um, I managed to find a truck after a couple hours outside of Novosibirsk um, that would go to Krasnoyarsk, but only the next day. Um, so I accepted basically to stay uh, one night in Tomsk uh, in the truck. So we slept in the truck um, on bunk beds. That was uh, that was okay actually, and reached Krasnoyarsk the next day. Then I went to Kansk with my host, Pavel. We did some singing and guitar at 2 a.m. Well, he did the guitar because I don't do that. He was very nice. The next day I was in Tulun. If you don't know about Tulun, basically it's a city that has been flooded uh, just a couple of days before. If you want to see the pictures of the flood, like see how bad it was, or at least have a feel of how bad it was, you can check my Instagram as well. I posted a couple pictures about that. So I was blocked for one night, so I pitched the tent uh, on that night. The next day, when I was in Irkutsk, I stayed there for two nights. It was kind of hard to find a host, but as soon as I got there with the Couchsurfing Hangout system, uh, I sent like requests to like all the people who were um, reachable in the area, and the first person replied and said, "Okay, yeah, I can host you, even though I live quite far." But uh, thanks to her. If you have the occasion, go to Irkutsk. It's a very nice city, as far as I can see. The next night, I told my driver, my last driver, that I wanted to go to the Baikal and pitch the tent there. So he actually knew one place that was, he said, perfect for pitching the tent. So I trusted him. 
he dropped me there and yeah it was a very nice place i'll try to put somewhere the location exactly so that if any one of you want to go there and pitch the tent it is very nice you can see also some videos and pictures that i've made on instagram about that place it was very nice and uh, now i'm in ulanude as you can see i'm in a hostel very nice place actually so i recommend it it's not far from the train station there are tons of hostels there um, this one is more family oriented I would say it's in an apartment and the owners are very nice so yeah good so tonight I'm going to try to go to the Mongolian border but not cross it and I will cross it tomorrow morning well every time I say morning then it's somehow 2 p.m. but still I will try to do my best to actually do it in the morning um, this way my Russian visa will be used at the maximum so I will be able to stay one day later in Mongolia uh, and same for China. This way it will maximize my chance to be in South Korea for New Year. I figure it could be nice. So that's it for today. Hopefully I will post this video today if I find the time to edit, cut and upload it. You can check my blog, my Instagram, my Twitter. Don't forget about that. You can leave me some message. It's always appreciated. And I'll see you next time.